Now, get to it. Please tell me, God, you're not doubling down on that nonsense. Oh, 100%. It is not the only reason why we lost that football game. It definitely is the only reason why. However, it is definitely one of the factors. I don't know if you guys ever play. <laughs> Wait, actually, I do. You have it. Rain affects play. Rain affects play. Uh-huh. Be it slipping in the rain, be it balls sliding out of quarterback's hand, and be it dropping passes. Even you guys had a little bit of that dropping fumbles with Lewerke as well as Tristan Jackson How many turnovers on the sideline. How many turnovers were you? You were smart. You kept to the run. Mm-hmm. Stuck, okay, so you're going to you're you're gonna blame the, the rain? You're going to blame the rain for your, your $9 million coach no, throwing eight straight no, passes? No, no, no. Not blaming the rain entirely. I just said that's one of the reasons. There no, are a ton what did of you other say? things. What did you say in that clip? Uh, I said if it doesn't rain, we win. Okay, so if don't do this rain, whole entirety routine. It's not you entirely. Are, it's the truth. If it doesn't rain, we truth. win. It is. All right. How many plays did you run in our territory after your first drive in the first half? Because I've got the answer, but I want to see if you know. Plays or series? Plays. Total. Six. Three. Dry. 14-3. State driving. Ends up punting. You are doing nothing in the dry weather. Now, for fun, it rains. Okay. okay let, let's, fine. Go, let's go back to the dry weather. Let's, let's go back to the dry weather. Yeah, we're at 14-3. Open and dry. We destroyed you guys offensively. <laughs> Jim Harbaugh decides to throw two fades. We're not a one-on-one type wide receiver team. That's not my team. problem that your coach is a maniac. <laughs> but that's what we're talking about. No, you wanted the, to bring the, up the, the rain. The, the that's rain is dry part of weather. It. We're still talking about other stuff, too, though. The rain is part of it, There though. is no other stuff. The rain is part of nothing except an excuse. What is it not part of? The, and it's both a part of you guys, it's playing a, in it. It's a part of you guys not getting the first down in the second half. Obviously, because it meant we, something. Hey, let me ask you a question. Let me How answer. many plays you run in our territory in the second half, right? Th- three. We were, since you want to go no, no. Oh, in, in the, the second, second half. half. One. <coughs> you get no claim to victory when you run four plays in the opposition's territory in some total outside of the two drives you now, had. There's a lot of onus on Jim Harbaugh as well. There's definitely some onus on him. A lot of onus on him. So why invoke but the rain? It, because it's true. It factors in. Are you serious? It doesn't factor. Weather doesn't Let me not ask you a question. So did it factor? factor more for you than State? Because last I checked, we both played in it. You guys don't use a passing game like we do. We have a better passing game you than you do. But you don't use it like we do. Here, let me set you straight on this, okay? Please, please Cause, do. Because this is where Caputo failed. Please, please do. If that game's in dry weather, okay. we beat you by 17. Not, not even close. 14-3 in the dry weather. You were never scoring on RD because your quarterback sucks. Listen, at the end of the day, I give credit where credit is due. No, you're Would not. You, you went on the air the and blamed thing, the rain. The, the first thing I did was give credit to Joe Bocci and what he was able to do. The but way when he played in Tim Stowe, I gave him credit first. Over it. I gave him credit first. I didn't say but. I gave him credit and Time said, up. however. Hold on. Run that back. Sully, run that back again. You've been listening, he says, to, you've been listening to it all week. We you're don't damn right. It again. It's okay, one good. of the worst things I've ever heard on this station. Sounds good. But, oh, who was higher on Michigan State? Me or you? I was. Now, How? Listen, because I said they were a better team than you gave them credit for. What are you talking about? I came on the air and picked us to play a close game, and you still yes, went, no, dog, you're you, not getting 10 points. You said this game because it's a rivalry. You thought that they would be better with the defensive interior. You only like four players on that team all year. You like Lewerke, the two defensive interior Who was guys, more accurate and the in the pregame analysis? I oh, said there was me. no score. I said there was no 14 points. Me. I said 14 points. So you go on the air and you go, Pat, legitimately, <clears throat> if it doesn't rain, we don't lose. Now you want to tell me you're talking about everything but the rain. Do you understand how disrespectful say, it is I to blame the rain? I didn't say everything but the rain. I said the rain was a huge factor. That's what I said. It started pouring down with three minutes, eight seconds, three minutes and six seconds left. Eight minutes and six seconds left in third quarter. Okay. That's a whole quarter and three quarters. And guess what? You still couldn't <laughs> score on us. We gave you the ball in our territory because of the wind and rain on a muff punt and a terrible punt. Congratulations. You you, you made us pay. Outside of that, what did you do? You ran one play in our territory for a half. Look, man, the rain goes both ways. If your coach was smarter and he ran the football a little more, Understood. Karat, 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 Karat Hinton Hinton was 12 for 66. I agree with you. Right, 100%. but the problem is, as a team, you were 2.7 yards per play. Do you know how pathetic that is? Because they kept putting Ty Isaac in there. Why? I don't know. Ty Isaac had four carries for the game. And then why would we put Chris Evans in the second half? Chris Evans had a good drive in the first the first drive where Chris Evans had a good drive. Everything after that was terrible. No, go Should've to part two. Karan Egdon's in there. Go to Karan part two. Higdon. Part two, you go, we expect to lose <clears throat> to Ohio State, which is an opinion I don't understand. You go, oh, well, we lost 8 out of 10, you expect to lose to them. Then you go, even though we've lost 8 out of 10 to Michigan State, we expect to beat them. Now, what kind of lame brain deal is that? Here's my mindset as a player. This is the former player mindset. So something you can't understand. Play you can't tell you what. Let me let me listen, hold on. Stop. No, 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 you stop. Because you're in my house now. We ain't on the football well, don't field. Don't ask me a question. And then don't no, no, answer. because I'm going to tell you something. You can right, keep going go. back to this whole former player routine. Right, Brother, let me tell you something. That don't score any points with me. Well, I really don't talk. care. Because you're tried, not a player no more. All I said was I was giving you a point of view from being in that rivalry. Great, man. Man, please. You want to throw digs because I'm not a former player? I don't give a damn. I'm 
don't give a damn either. But I'm telling you from my point of view. No, where go it comes ahead. Let me let me hear your point of view. Outer space. Go ahead. Sounds good. Every time we played Michigan State, when I was there in the years before that, we knew we were gonna win. It didn't matter what time we got to in the game. Didn't okay. matter how it happened. We knew we were gonna win, and we did. So that's that mentality continues like, even though I don't play anymore. Why? That makes no sense. As a player, that's what I see. I, I think see you haven't been in Michigan in 13 years. It doesn't matter. In my mind, Michigan State is still inferior. inferior. What are you, nuts? You're still like the inferior. dude who still swears he's in high school. and not he's trying to be in high school. Not at all. Braylon, 13 years later, things have kind of changed. Somewhat. You can't pretend it's 04 anymore. I'm not trying to pretend it's 04 anymore. You we, are when you say things like that. No, we're a better team than we were. Literally, if you want to count those Rich Rod and those Brady Hope gears, it's just like when I brought up Bobby Williams and John L. Smith. You, you threw that to the side, too. No, For I me, don't throw them to the side. They I, count on the record. When I, said, when I said Bobby Williams to you, and I said, you said, oh, God, yeah, Bobby and, and John L. Yeah, terrible. Okay. That's it. okay, it's the same thing for me with Rich Rod and Brady Hope. Two guys that didn't understand it couldn't get it done. You guys went and got a guy that got the rivalry, got it done, and rebuilt the focus of Michigan State, Mark D'Antonio. We got a guy in which has done the same now with Jim Harbaugh. That's all I'm saying in terms of that. But you can't beat us. <clears throat> so why do you expect to beat us when it hasn't happened in a decade? Listen, you guys are getting the plays at the big house. It is happening that way. The, bump, the, the ball is fumbling and falling your way. And oh, happened. the old lucky break routine. It's not really a lucky break routine if I can sit here and point out a couple of plays mm. on a consistent basis. What are the, what are these couple of plays? Okay. You turned it over five the, times. Two years ago to play. 39 carries for 102 yards. You ran four total plays in our side of the field in a whole football game outside of your two scores. Right. And you want to say it's a luck, a couple lucky plays? Do you understand how disrespectful that is? Was there, was there an interception before it started raining? Uh, yes. Absolutely. End of the first half. So two in the rain, one before. Yeah, David did, didn't David Dow have one before it was raining? I mean, bottom line is your quarterback stinks. Your offense stinks. Why is that my problem? Your coach that, called eight straight pass plays in the rain. What do you want me to tell you? That definitely isn't your problem. That's definitely something Jim Harbaugh has to, hey, trust me. He has, he takes a lot of blame, too. Like, literally. That uh, five, 519 left in the second half. Where you ran that terrible cross on first down, you run the ball with Chris Evans on second down, and then you take the sack by O'Corn on third down. Trust me, from the 41 yard line with a chance to tie, well, not tie the game, but go down 10 14. There's a lot of blame on Jim Harbaugh as well. Trust me. Right. But that's my point is when you do, <clears throat> look, the whole issue, and this has been the, the, the backbone of this show all week. Right. The very things you say, this narrative, this whole deal about, look, look what Dez did on TV. And I brought it up on Monday. Yeah, you I said think, that was that was that was stupid. But I think that it's really. hilarious because I'll tell you one thing. I know for a fact that was sent to our players. Oh, one hundred percent. It's two thousand seventeen. That's everywhere. That's right. viral. So the narrative is the very thing that kills you guys. But then you go on the air and you do to blame the rain routine, or you still you go, Mike. I'm a former player. We used to beat Michigan State all the time. Well, guess what? It's not that anymore. When you say things like that, you are feeding into the very narrative that busts your ass eight out of ten years now. I You're been, feeding MSU. At the same time, if you listen to me, if you be honest with yourself, Go be ahead. Honest, Tell not, me. not even the Michigan State thing anymore. I have legitimately been non-biased to Michigan the whole season. I've been non-biased to Michigan State the whole season. I actually like Michigan State going into this game, not against Michigan, just in terms of their team where they were more than you did. And you can't say that's not true. I, sure I can. I said it'd be a field goal game in the fourth quarter. No, I'm talking about Michigan State as a whole team. Before this game, I was higher on them than you. You didn't like them at the beginning of the year. Then slowly but surely, okay. I still say, you know, it's something here. There's something here. And even Notre Dame game. I'm the one that called. You said they're a lot better than you give them credit for. I think right. the three turnovers, you can't do that 100%. Right, because I'm but, more cynical but than you everything are. everything else they did, they outplayed them. Yeah, but the difference is if you beat my <clears> team, <throat> I call a spade a spade. I don't sit here and blame the rain. I don't sit here and go, oh, well, you know, we used to beat them, but I still expect to beat them. I got a page full of crap that has nothing to do with the rain, so trust me, it's not all about the rain. All this is about hardball, raining, the wide receivers, the way they're putting you off the Time gym. Every, so, it's not all about the rain. No, but nowhere along the line do I hear you crediting our defense. The first thing I said, I even know their, their names and what they did. Well, congratulations. You work for BTN and you're on this radio show. I'd hope you'd know a few of their names. It doesn't have anything to do with BTN. If I see somebody as a good player, I call it as a good player. Okay, so here's the point. You went on with Pat and said those things. All I'm wanting from you is to get rid of the rain as a part of any of this. If you want to present evidence as to why you lost, I'll hear all of it. I will not hear the rain when you tell Pat and you go, dude, if it doesn't rain, we don't lose. Those are your words. 100% they were my words. And maybe and maybe they were mistaken. Maybe it got, maybe, maybe it's at a point where 
Michigan State just came out with the intensity that you said they would have, and they approached the rivalry a little bit different than we do. And maybe they were able to get the plays done. Maybe their coach outcoached our coach, and he played trussle ball, when maybe we should have took a little bit of that into consideration and played some trussle ball outside just throwing the ball. Now we're so, getting so maybe that is the case. Now we're and, getting and maybe I threw the rain out there. In fact, I still think I – Oh. Maybe shouldn't have thrown it out there. Oh. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have thrown it out there. Maybe I should have kept that one to myself and stayed professional. Maybe it was a little bit of a, a personal bias oh. to being a Michigan homer. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. With that being said, can we get down to what the hell happened in that game and the rest of the Big Ten? 